What's up, guys? I'm Gaylord, Lord of the Gays, here with your daily news segment, Daily Gay Today. So what's gay today? Well, these viral kind of notices, these signs that are put up in the hoity-toity shopping district in San Francisco, they've gone viral. They say, stolen goods must remain under $950. Now, these signs, as I said, have been posted outside Louis Vuitton in uh, San Fran, you know, the, uh, the, the, the big spender area in San Francisco. I know what you're thinking. Most of San Francisco is big spender because somehow they have even higher rents than Los Angeles. But I digress. Uh, don't let the panache fool you, by the way, guys. 99% of San Francisco is a shithole dumpster fire. So just because it's expensive to live there and just because they have a expensive shopping district uh, doesn't mean it's a nice place to live. Now, liberal outlets will report that San Francisco's crime has been decreasing in 2024, but the reality of the situation when it comes to people that actually live and work there is quite different. So, um, we have a list. Walgreens, Old Navy, Nordstrom, and Whole Foods have all pulled their stores out of uh, downtown San Francisco. Now, I don't pull out, so I don't know what that's like. Uh, even Macy's, with their, I believe, flagship, one of their, like, like, big stores in San Francisco's Union Square, Macy's is looking to actually sell that property. Again, all of this is due to retail crime. So what are these signs anyway? Uh, well, don't worry. Gizmodo, the ultra-woke liberal media site, they have the answer. They say, have you seen photos on social media of street signs that read, notice, stolen goods must remain under $950? The photos were taken in San Francisco and appear to be referring to a right-wing disinformation campaign that claims theft has been legalized in California. But the signs weren't put there by any government entity. They're a prank. Okay, hold on. Right-wing disinformation? What's the disinformation exactly? California state law, under what's called Proposition 47, was passed back in 2014, and it states that some low-level, non-violent felonies can only be charged as misdemeanors for most people. It also changed the law so that items valued under 950 bucks in a theft would be classified as misdemeanors. So this means cops would be much less likely to investigate crimes that are misdemeanors, and prosecutors are much, much less likely to actually bring charges to people who have committed just simple misdemeanors, right? The signs are actually 100% accurate and there's no disinformation at all. And it's funny, when you get these, like, bastions of liberal policies and they just turn into uh, revolving doors of crime, um, people are, like, confused. Well, it's things like this. It's Proposition 47 that downgrades felonies to misdemeanors and um, people either... You know, the revolving door is a nice expression, but that's implying that people actually enter the door in the first place. It's gotten to the point now that cops won't even arrest people. They just, like, it's not even catch and release. There's no catching. They're like, oh, it's under 950 bucks. It's just some shoplifting. Yeah, we can't really do anything about it. I've seen it. I've, I've dealt with this personally with LAPD. You know, like, you call them about things that are a big deal to you as a resident of the city or wherever you live. If it's not, like, straight-up murder or something, like, they don't care. Or, like, hmm, they'll definitely throw the book at you if you step on a uh, rainbow flag or something, because that's, you know, a hate crime. Um, or if you misgender someone nowadays, I believe, uh, you know, you can you can get the, the fucking book thrown at you big time. But don't worry, if your business and livelihood is ruined, um, you know, it, it's it's there's nothing they can do about it. So, uh, yeah, this is just a revolving door of crime, um, it's, but again, it's, it's, no one's even entering the door at this point. But either way, everything is gay. Alright guys, please, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this. I don't know if any of my subscribers here on this channel are from California or have lived in California, but please sound off in the comment section, and I just wanted to bring one last thing up. Uh, you know, I got a really interesting question, um, during my last live stream over on Instagram, 
I've never live streamed really on Instagram, but it was fun to do it. Um, someone asked me if I actually like California, and, and, and that's such a loaded question for me because, okay, believe it or not, I was born here. I'm a New Englander at heart because I lived in New England for like 20 years, but I was actually born in Santa Monica, and, you know, <clears throat> my grandparents lived here, so we would always, even when we moved to New England when I was a baby, we would come back every year to go to Disneyland and hang out with my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. And so I have a lot of fond memories of California, you know, back in the late 80s, early 90s. And um, I'm also, you know, California gives us a lot here when it comes to the weather, when it comes to the things you can do. Uh, believe it or not, I'm an outdoorsy person. I know now it doesn't seem like it because I have a shattered leg. But when I was healthy, you know, we would go hiking on the weekends. Sam and I go camping all the time. Um, the canyons are unbeatable here in California. Driving in the canyons, so fun. Um, <clears throat> you know, you can go to the beach. You can go snowboarding. You can explore the desert. You can go to the mountainous regions. You can see snow. It's it's so incredible. The wildlife here is awesome. Um, even the cultural diversity when it comes to the food and the artwork, you know, there's a lot to really enjoy. However, lawmakers have made it so damn near impossible to live here, <clears throat> increasing the taxes. So, okay, I'm paying more and more every year, but what am I getting? Well, less and less. Rents, mortgages, they're all going higher. Taxes are going higher. Crime rates are spiking pollution, um, not, and I'm not talking about, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, carbon footprints. I'm talking about, like, local pollution, like trash and uh, graffiti and uh, human waste. Uh, it, it's, it's at an all-time high. They're soft on crime. Uh, random murders, attacks, rapes, drug use. Every week we hear of a new kid at Hollywood High School or something overdosing on fentanyl, and you wonder how this even happens. Uh, and so, like, I'm not sure what I would actually get here long term for what I pay. And when Sammy and I are, you know, having more and more serious talks about starting our own family, um, we're kind of seeing the writing on the wall, and it's like, I don't know if I want to have a kid here. So, do I love California? In a way, I do. But, 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 you know, when you love something, you got to let it go. And so I feel like it, it's just not worth living here. And when you, when you couple this with the fact that I'm surrounded by a bunch of bleeding heart, fucking brain dead liberals, it's, it's also just incredibly difficult trying to think about living here long term and like, who are my kids even going to be friends with and blah, 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 blah. So yeah. Uh, let me know in the comment section and I will catch you on tomorrow's Daily Gay Today segment. All right, guys. Love ya. Yeah.